All right, what's up, you guys? I'm here with the Money in the Bank pay-per-view DVD cover ranking. Figured I would rank all of these, including 2018. So let's get right into this. Dead last, I'm going to put Money in the Bank 2010. And I will say this, I don't think any of these covers are actually bad. I don't like this cover. I just think it's really just kind of mediocre and kind of a mess. I just don't, it's not visually appealing to me. Like, it's just, I don't know, I just, I really don't like this one. You know, it's just kind of awkward, like this shot with Randy Orton, it's kind of an awkward shot. The Kofi one's fine, but I just don't think you needed an action shot for this one, let alone two. So I think this would have been better just as poster artwork. Next I'm going to put 2012. Um, there's very few times where I say spoiler covers are completely not allowed and that's Royal Rumble and Money in the Bank those are two that should never have spoiler covers to me and this one's just a cheesy spoiler cover at that it's kind of cool you have the crowd in the background good lighting cool colors but that's really about it next up we have it's kind of hard to rank these double features but let's just say we're ranking that alone um, it's a cool kind of uh, parody of Wizard of Oz but you know, I just think it's a little cheesy, but I think it is a very visually appealing cover, honestly. Next, we have Dean Ambrose on 2015. I like this cover. It just does not say anything Money in the Bank to me. There's no ladders involved in this cover, nothing, just Dean Ambrose. So it's kind of a weird choice for a Money in the Bank pay-per-view cover. Like, I could see this being like a payback or... You know, Backlash, Judgment Day, stuff like that. But for this, it's just kind of a weird choice. But I do like it, so I gave it some leeway. 2013, I really like this one. But I know a lot of people don't. It is kind of a mess of a cover. But I think it's cool. I think it's a good cover. 2014, you have that X, and then you have the logo, and then of course you have your... Uh, three superstars there. Uh, once again, this is a spoiler-heavy cover, unfortunately. You know, what can you do? I think it is a pretty good cover, but the reason it's not higher is just we don't... It's just too many spoilers. 2016, this is a really good cover. I really like this because you have all three champions on the same cover. And yes, this is a spoiler cover, but at the same time, it's kind of not because they were all three champions in one night. But it doesn't tell you which one came out as champion. Unless it's on the back, I don't know. Is it on the back? Eh, kind of. Yeah, it is. But, oh well. But, you know, it's the story of this cover is great. You have the shield. And for this night, all three members of the shield... We're world champion. That to me is a fantastic story. So I love this cover because it conveys that story very well. Next we have 2018. Lately we've been getting poster artwork, which I cannot complain. I love when they use poster artwork. And this is custom poster artwork, so that's really cool. You have both briefcases, no spoilers. You do have spoilers on the spine, but... It's one of those things you only really see if you're really looking for it. So this is a really cool cover. And you have all your Money in the Bank participants, women's and men's. And then you have your women's title on the front there. Overall, this is just such a cool cover. And I really like what they're doing with covers lately. And number one, how could you not put this at number one? You have CM Punk in Chicago, Summer of Punk, in a five-star match, and a shocking ending that probably not many people saw coming. This was the perfect night. You know, all the pieces were aligned correct. You had a great crowd, CM Punk was dead hot, and you had a great main event, and a great ending. So this was, I'm not a big wrestling fan in 2011, personally, 2010, 11, and 12, 
I was not really watching as heavily as I used to. So this got me back into wrestling. This summer of punk got me back into wrestling. You know, I grew up in a different era. You know, very early 2000s was when I, you know, that's when I loved wrestling. And this got me back into wrestling. And this cover just epitomizes that period where he was red hot. And, you know, just a great cover to convey that. So let me know what your list would be and down below in the comment section. And I hope you guys enjoyed. For now, this has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.